everyone. This is Tyler with Diesel Laptops. In this video, what we're going to do here is we are going to show you what to do on a Volvo after you replace the diesel particulate filter. So even though you've put a new filter on there or you've gotten an old one cleaned, you need to tell the truck that you did that. Otherwise, it doesn't know. So here's the right commands and the right sequence to do this. So first of all, we're connected to a 2013 and newer Volvo. Uh, click on the ECU tab, we can kind of see the VIN number and what we're hooked up to. But where you want to go is over here to settings. And what we're looking for over here is a couple commands. And they might be named a little bit differently. Uh, this demo unit's from a, a slightly older version. So what you're looking for, uh, if you just try to go do a Diesel particular filter regen, it might not even do it because you need to tell it you have a new filter on there. You may have had some codes previously that, that locked up the ECM or put it in D-rate mode. So to fix that, what you do is you go to soot index and soot rate adaptation. And in this version, it's one command. In the newer versions, there will actually be two different commands that you're going to have to run in order to do this. And they might even be named something a little bit different, but for the most part, it's uh, soot index adaptation and soot rate adaptation. So you run that command, and then you go up here to your particulate filter regeneration, and you run that command as well. And it's really that simple. That should go through, take care of all your issues. And if not, well, our number's on the computer that you bought, and their tech support's just one phone call away. So thank you very much, and look forward to watching the next video with us.